Shalom. To the Lord's elect, let's begin this lesson by giving honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. These are our forefathers and the name that they call upon, the entity, the power that they always call upon, his name is Yahweh, means he is our heavenly father. Again, all praises, honor, and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh is our heavenly father, his name, and uh, his only begotten son, our king, our deliverer. That's right, the root and offspring of King David, the bright and morning star, the king of kings, the lord of lords, the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah. And that's how he's coming, he's coming to conquer that's right, he's coming to remove Esau, Edom, self-proclaimed white man of his, uh, uh, his uh, rulership. That's what the king, Yahweh is coming to do. That's right, these people are panicking. Yes, they are realizing that the lies that they've been telling over the years, family, is not working anymore. So now they have, a, they have to introduce bills. That's right, they have to introduce a bill to what? To continue the lie, to protect the lie. But guess what? It's not going to work. Nobody can stop prophecy. That's what they don't realize. This is not their doing. It is the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. This is his movie. You see, when you realize what the Lord is doing, the Lord is controlling everybody in this movie. He wrote the script and he gave the script to each and every one and to play their part in his movie. So Esau is doing exactly what he's supposed to do. You see, and this is going to lead to the farming of the word. And we say, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kohalah Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukakadash. Let's give double honors to our head apostles from the great millstone. The apostles, the elder apostles, followed by the bishop, the elders, that's right, that taught us this glorious gospel. Yes, we are coming into some, another man's labor, and we are extremely grateful for the labor that they put in for setting their families for, for actually not, no, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, you know, for making the way for us, family. Yes, the Lord put this man in what? In our path to direct us. These are our leaders. We, we just didn't wake up one day and said, oh, we are Israelite. No, family. The Lord raised these men up to teach us, to bring this glorious gospel to us. So again, double honors to our leaders from the great millstone and salutation. Peace to all the brothers out there doing this work in sincerity and in truth. Yes, that's right. The Lord's elect. And we cannot forget the large multitude that's why I mentioned in the book of Revelation 7, 9, men, women, children, these are known as the elect, but the elect always start with 144,000. These are the heads. These are the leaders. These are the governors that are going to be ruling directly under Yahweh Shai. Like 2 Ezra chapter 2, verse 42 also saw the large multitude, eh? saw the large multitude, and these are men, women, children. They are known as the elect. They were picked before the foundation of the earth. Yes, Esau is losing his mind. Eh? Now all of a sudden, the Lord doesn't really, really hate Jacob. Eh? He meant like, you know, family, that's, they're trying their best. Eh? That's right. They are trying everything possible to see if there's a way for them to enter. No, you can't enter. This is a family affair. That's right. This is a family affair. The 12th tribe of what? Israel. And eh? Jacob's name was changed to Israel. That's who this gospel is for, the 12th tribe. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, African Americans, Native Americans. This glorious gospel is for you. And I hope when it's all said and done, family, you receive this message and you are edified. That's what we do this lesson. But we're telling you that, yes, Esau knows that his time is short now. You see, the anti-Semitic thing is not working anymore. That's right. It's not working anymore. You see, people are seeing through all the beers, but now they have to pass a law to protect the same one that continue to do. Yeah, that's right. Continue to turn this whole world upside down. Yeah, finally, we're gonna get right into it. You see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna coach my word. I'm gonna try my best to stay on point. But let's go. Let's open it up with the book of Revelation, chapter twelve, verse twelve. 
It said, therefore rejoice ye heavens. Heaven is referring to what? We, the hopeful elect. That's why the saints. We are the heavens. Eh? And ye that dwell in them. So woe to the inhabitants of the earth. The one that have no clue what is about to happen. The rest of the nations. That's why they have no clue what Esau is about to do. But we know the Lord, the, the Lord's elect, the Lord have given us the eyes of the understanding to receive this glorious gospel. Eh? He said, for the devil, which is what? The adversary, the one who is against everything the Lord stands for. And it's a nation of people. Today, they are known as what? The Edomite. So they are known as white. But their biblical name is Edom. Edom's name will change to what? Uh, what is it called? No. Esau. They are, <laughs> let me go back. Let me go to family. Sorry. Listen, I get so excited sometimes. Like I said, you know, I'm tripping over my words here. Esau's name was changed to Edom. Okay. Esau's name was changed. This whole thing is about two nations. And two nations. Eh? Esau and Edom. You know what though? Let's do this. Let me finish this here. Let me finish my thoughts. Therefore, the devil is come down unto you having great wrath. That's right. Because his whole thing is what? His new world order. His reset. Where family is going to control you by what? A, that's right. A karagma. Revelation 13, 16. A micro to the C-H-I-P. Okay. That is what is coming. That is his enterprise, which the Lord says he's not going to fulfill it. We don't believe what a man says, family. We believe what is written in the Bible. That's right. So the Bible, eventually, they have to remove it. Based on this law that they're about to pass, mm -hmm. they're about to, family, that's right, outlaw the Bible. But we know the Lord already told us in the book of Amos that what? there will be farming of the word. And we're going to get all those precepts. But let's just see Let me read the entire thing. It said, therefore rejoice ye heavens. We are rejoicing because why? The prophecies are coming to pass, family. We are sitting back with a letter yayan and just enjoying the show. We have a front row seat. That's right. We're seeing the collapse of this society. For you to pass a bill to continue to push the lies. And because you've been caught now. So in order to, yeah, now you're trying your best. You're doing your best. Eh? That's why to continue ruling, you want to hide yourself. You can't. Now you all of a sudden passing a bill to protect the wickedness. No, they say family, they say the truth is like a lion. Think about it for a second. The truth is like a lion. It doesn't need to be defended. It says let it loose, family. It will defend itself. That's the truth. And? But these people here, family, the lies, family, that for you. Because the truth, family, you don't need to pass a law to defend the truth. No. The truth stands alone. You see, you don't have to pass a law. You don't have to tell anybody that, oh, you are the people of the book. You don't have to pass a law to, to say that. No. The whole nation should know that you are the people of the book based on your actions. But it doesn't pass the smell test. Because the Bible says one thing and you are saying the other thing. You are, you are saying something else. So what are we going to believe? Are we going to believe a man or are we going to believe the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, that created the man? That's what you have to ask yourself. Are we going to believe a man or are we going to believe the most, the power, that, that entity and the sovereign, the sovereign power and the omnipotent who created the, uh, the, 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 the creature? You're going to worship the creature or you're going to worship the most high Yahweh? You ask yourself. He says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down eh, unto you having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. His time is up. His time is up. Eh? His time is up and there's nothing he can do about it. And right now he's losing his mind. Genesis 25. We can pick it up from verse 19. And these are the generation of Isaac, Abraham, sons. Abraham begat Isaac. Genesis 25, 20. I and Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah to wife. The daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Pad uh, Padaranam. No, Padanaram. The sister of Laban, the Syrian. That's right. Hmm? But he's an Israelite though. And Isaac entreated the Lord, Yahweh, for his wife. Why did he entreat the wife? Eh? Let's find out. Because she was barren. She wasn't having a baby. Eh? Like most of the women family, having, not having a child family. Man, 
It was a reproach to these women. Every woman wanted to have a child, not in this life, not the one, not the world that we live in, not Esau's world, where he encourages you. Eh? He makes sure that he have a baby deletion clinic in every corner. Eh? Let's get rid of them. You see, let's get rid of them. He make it easier for you to uh, yes, get rid of your your your. You know what? Oh, I I'm gonna coach my word family. You know what I meant. Eh? I'm gonna leave it there. But back then, the women they love having children. But now, no, 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 that's too much responsibility. And if they have it, no, they got to get rid of it. But that, that time is coming back, though. The old ways, we are going back. We miss it. We miss it. And that's what we're going back to. Hmm? The old ways. Hmm? It says here, so what did Isaac do? It says here, and the, it says here, and Isaac entreated the Lord Yahweh for his wife. Because she was barren and the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? Why am I having difficulty with this pregnancy? Every woman gets pregnant. Eh? But me, look at me. Eh? Complaining to Isaac. You know, family, you know Eve. When Eve is ready for you, eh? he's tired and miserable. Oh yeah, you know, you're going to hear it. So say, why am I like this? Why am I having difficulty having pregnant? Now you're pregnant. You wanted to have babies. Now you're complaining. But let's find out why was she complaining to the Lord? Hmm? And the Lord said unto her, two nations. Are you listening to this? Hey, huh? Did I finish this thought here? No, let's go back. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. Hear the answer of Yahweh, our power, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hey, listen to what he says. And the Lord Yahweh said unto her, Two nations, are you listening to this? Are in thy womb. And two manner of people, meaning two different people, shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. Eh? And the elder shall serve the younger. Two different nations. You hear that? Two different nations. One will be stronger. We don't have to family tell you who is the strongest. Just look at sports. Look at everything else. Entertainment. Family, we dominate everything. Eh? We dance better. Family, we run better. We jump better. Eh? That's right. Two nations. Eh? But let's continue. It says here, and the first came out red. Eh? All over like hairy garment. Because back in those days, family, we used like what? Sheep skin, right? We, we, live, we use all type of different animal skins. That's right. And then we dye them. We change them to different colors. That's right. You know what? And then we use them for what? Garment clothes, right? That's what he's saying. So why? He came out like what? A red garment. Let, let's read down. It says, and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. It's not like he was hairy. No, family. And they called his name Esau, Ashashua, meaning wasted away is he. Family, he says here, and after that came his brother out. You notice? And his hand took. You see, they didn't tell you what uh, Jacob looks like. Because what? Family, back then we all had what? Dark skin. Okay? All shades of what? Brown. Eh? You see? So they don't need to give you the description because they give you the description because they want to tell you that this man here came different. He looked different. Eh? He says, and after, after that came his brother out and his hand took hold of Esau's heel and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare him two different nations. Let's go to the book of Romans 9. You see, we're just laying a little bit of foundation here. So you know that this whole movie is about two characters. And one is losing badly right now. So he's doing, he's, he's trying desperately. He's trying desperately to, trying to convince people that he is, he, he is what he, he, he's not. He's telling you, he's trying to be somebody that he's not. The Lord made him wicked for a reason. And we're going to find out here. The book of Romans chapter 9. We're going to pick it up from verse 1. He says, I say the truth in Yahweh Shai. I lie not. This is Apostle Paul speaking. Okay, through the spirit of our power, our redeemer, Yahweh Shai, because we know that Yahweh Shai directly taught our Apostle Paul. That's right. He knocked him off the, uh, off the horse and introduced himself to Apostle Yahweh. Apostle Paul says, who is this? And the Lord spoke to him in Hebrew. That's right. You can get that account also. Eh? You see, but let's go on. I say... 
I say the I say the truth in our in the anointed. I lied not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from the anointed for my brethren. Brethren me what? Blood brothers. My kinsmen according to flesh. Let me look up some word here. I haven't looked up anything yet. Eh? Let's look up what? Brethren first. Eh? Brethren go to what? Adelphos, right? Strong's G80. Adelphos. 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 A brother, whether born of same two parents or only of the same father or mother, having the same national ancestor, belonging to the same people or countrymen. That's right. And any fellow or a man, a fellow believer united to another, uh -uh, it's not about uniting. That's the uni United uh, Universal Salvation nonsense. Uh -uh. An associated in employment or office. Well, he said his brothers by blood. Mm? That's right. Let's go on. Let's go on. I want to look up something else. Kingsman. Eh? Kingsman goes to what? Let's go. That's what? Singes. Strong's G, 4773. Sungenes. 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 It says here, of the same king, a king to related by a blood, eh? in a wider sense of the same nation, a fellow countryman. This here is a family affair. If anybody tells you there's universal salvation, family, like I said, run from them. They don't know any better. Eh? You see here, it says here, it says, For I could wish that myself were a curse from the Lord, the anointed, our king, our redeemer, Yahweh Shai, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. He said, Who are Israelites? Are you listening to this? They are what? Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption. Pertaining meaning what? Let's look up that word pertaining, meaning, let's go, let's go, pertaining. And, oh, no definition for pertaining adoption let's go look up the adoption adoption is who oh wow that's a strong's g 5206 we are the seer we are the seer okay adoption adoption as sons okay as sons that relationship with the most high was pleased to establish between himself listen to this himself and all the nation no he didn't say that Oh, oh, maybe Esau can come in. No, he didn't say that. He says to all the nation between himself and who? And the Israelites. And yes, this is the New Testament. Because we know Christians always go into the New Testament to tell you the most I love the world. Love, he says, what? what's the, their favorite? John 3, 16. We've destroyed that many times over. That world is what? Cosmos arrangement. Like me saying the building or the world of baseball, the world of entertainment, the world of this. Yeah, it's the world of Israel. Salvation is only for the children of Israel. Get it through your thick head. Okay, you so-called uh, Christians out there and the, the Edomite saying that the Lord loves everybody. Uh, 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 uh. No, it says here, that relationship with the Mosai was pleased to establish between himself and the Israelites in reference to all other nations. In reference to all other nations, meaning what? This marriage is between what? Him and his what? That's why his special possession, who are all Israelite. Okay? Let's read on. Let's read on. Family, we're going to get the article. Oh, yes, we're going to get it. It says here, it says, not, no, 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 no. Where was I? It says, who are Israelites to whom pertain the adoption and the glory, the new bodies that was also coming, and the covenant, the second covenant, which the laws, the statute, the commandments, everything is going to be in our hearts. We're going to be perfect. We don't want to be, we're not going to be on the, on, on, the, on, on, the, on the highways, byways, doing lessons, putting lessons together, teaching another brother. No. Jeremiah 31, 31 tells us. We every Israelite is going to be perfect. Even the two thirds that the Lord is going to destroy on this end here, they're going to be born through what? Uh, that's right. That's right. They're going to be born through the elect that made it. So when they come, they're going to be in their right mind. Okay. He says here, and the government and the giving of the law and the service of the power and the promises. 
all the promises are what? New bodies. And we being above all the nations. And we being perfect. And having chariot in every dwelling places. These are all the glory that is coming. But let's continue. It said, who, Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh, Yahweh Shai came. You see that? He's telling you how much I came for who? Everything that I just read in the above what? Precepts. The king only came for what? The children of Israel. And these demons know that. Eh? The lies that they've been pushing family, now they can't hide it anymore. They can't. They're trying to control the lies. Now they're passing laws. But we know they're doing exactly what the Lord asked them to do. Let's continue. He says here, Whose are the fathers? No, I read that already. Verse 6. Not as though the word of the power have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Are you listening to this? How come nobody goes into this? He says here, this is very simple. Family, this, this is clear as day. And he says, in the family, I won't lie. If I am the one that is about to be destroyed, guess what? I'm going to try to find just one precept. I'm not going to go precept upon precept. I'm just going to find just one precept just to justify that I can, I can be saved too. No, family. They are just desperate. That's right. They know what is coming. And they are trying their best, but they can't. They can't help themselves, family. But we are call, calling them on their lives. And now things are so bad that you're going to pass a law. To justify your wickedness. Oh my goodness. It is so sad. It is so sad. But you got to feel. You got to fulfill your role in this movie. Eh? It, says, it says here. Not as though the word of the Most High have not taken none effect. For they are not all Israel. Which are of Israel. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Eh? The seed of Abraham. Are they all children. But in Isaac the promise. Eh? Shall thy seed be called. The promise went from what? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's it. This is simple. Hey? I said, neither they are the seed of Abraham, are they called the children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. But here, that is, they which are the children of the flesh. Hmm? You hear that? These are not the children of the Most High, because we know that our forefather Abraham had other children. I think he had eight, eight boys. Hey? Ishmael was one of them. Okay? The progenitor of the so-called Arab nations today. Eh? But the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Who is the promise again? Isaac. So anything that came from through Isaac unto Jacob, they are that's the promise. Eh? He said, For this is the word of the promise. At this time will I come and Sarah, which is what Abraham's wife, shall have a son, which is what Isaac. And not only this, but when Rebecca, which is what Isaac's wife, also had conceived by one, even by our father, Isaac. For the children being not yet born. This is the point. You see, everybody is wondering, why is the Lord? Eh? It, actually, towards the end, it tells you. He said, oh, these people have... It tells you why the Lord... This is, it goes to show you why nobody is in control of what is happening right now. So the fact that these people are about to pass a bill to protect their wickedness, guess what? The Lord is the one that is allowing them to do it. This is the role that the Lord set up for them to do. They are the wicked. They've lied so many times to a point now, family, now, now it, the truth, it, they can't lie anymore, period. So now they are passing legislation to continue the lie. It's, it's not going to work. But this is their role in this movie. But it tells you here, for the children be not yet born, neither having done any good or evil. Think about this for a second, right? Even before Rebecca met Isaac, doesn't even know Isaac. Family, this was already ordained in the spirit world. The Lord already decided who's going to be the wicked, who's going to be the righteous. But so it says, tells you, it said, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose is not our purpose. It's the Lord purpose, the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh. So you sit back, you said, oh, we've been in captivity for all these years. Why are we at the bottom of society? Family, the Lord ordained it. That's how the Lord wanted to be. So when he glorified us, guess what? Nobody's going to sit back and say, I did this on my, by myself. No, because the nation have seen us at our lowest point. You see, so when the Lord elevates us, eh, put us above all these nations, we're going to sit back and say, Barakata Yahweh, 
Brakate Yahawashai. We're going to glorify the Lord. The same way Esau have been at the top of the food chain for all these years and all the nations reverence Esau Edom. Everybody is afraid of Esau Edom, right? That's why he passed legislations, he passed laws. And if you don't abide by his laws, he's going to give you 100 years for just smoking weed. You know what I mean? That's his law. Because the Lord allow him to. This is his kingdom. This is his heaven. But he's about to lose it. And he's losing his mind right now. Everything is falling apart. But we are sitting here drinking a little yayan and having a good time. Eh? Preaching the word. Preaching the word. Preaching the word. Giving honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh Bahashem for what he has done for us. Hmm? Excuse me. It says here. It says here, for the children be not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High, according to election, might stand not of works, you hear that? but of him that calleth it. Not of work. It's not anything that we have done for us to be righteous. Uh-uh. Family, because this is the Lord's purpose. But this is his purpose. This is his pleasure. Him? It says here, let me read the NLT. But before they were born, listen to this. Before they were born, the twins, Esau and what? Jacob. Before they had done any good or bad, she received a message from the power. This message shows that the power chooses people according to his own purpose. Are you listening to this? Are you listening to this? That's it. But Esau cannot get it. He can't. He can. He's still, still crying. He says, yeah, it was said unto so the fact that they said, oh, oh, uh, Jacob tricked Esau to get the birthright. No. The Lord set it up that way. Because if you read back the one that we just read, the children not being yet born. They haven't been born yet. But the purpose was already ordained. How everything is going to go down. So the fact that Jacob tricked Esau and for him to sell his birthright, it was already ordained. It's already ordained. But they can't get it. They can't get it because it wasn't given to them. It says it was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Remember, he hated Esau. It's not because Esau did anything wicked. Because this is how he wrote the movie. But he made him wicked. You see? We just happen, we just happen to be on the right side and we pray that we endure to the end. Huh? He says, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteous with the Most High? He says, God forbid. Are you going to complain to tell the Lord that, oh, why did he do this? I did? No, 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 no. You don't have the right. He created you. He's the porter. He has power over which clay, which clay, which, which, which vessel he made for. Um, actually, I think it tells you later on in, in, the, in the precept. I'm going to hold on to that. Let's read on. It says, as it written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. The self-proclaimed white men today. Today, they have many names. Sometimes they refer to themselves as Caucasian. They had referred to themselves as, a, as, a, as Europeans. Eh? American, Canadian, British, German, Norway, Swedish. That's right. But the name Esau, Edom, uh -uh, they stay far away from it. Because they know. And this is the truth. That's why they have to bind the Bible. And that's what is coming. Because family, this is prophecy. We are farming. The prophecies are jumping off the pages. When I saw this, I mean, I've, I've, I got it a few days ago. They were talking about it. But when I came across this, I said, no. I said, man, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is a prophecy. Hmm? It says here, for the scripture says unto it says, so then it is not of him that willeth it. Did I read that? Oh, no, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back, go back. No, family. It says here, as it's written, Jacob have I love and Esau but Esau have I hated. Eh? What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? God forbid. For, this, the, for he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. That's right. He look at what he did to Pharaoh. Right? He hardened Pharaoh's heart and punished Pharaoh. He showed mercy unto who? His, the apple of his eyes. Eh? That's how the Lord operates. This is his movie. He says, so then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but the Most High is the one that shows mercy. We didn't do anything to deserve this. It's the Lord. He could have made us wicked. Eh? That's right. He could have made us wicked. He could have given the blessings to who? Esau. He could have given the blessings to another nation. But uh, 
This is what he's doing. This is what he's doing. He gave the blessings to what? The children of Israel. The 12 tribe. He says here, For the scripture says unto Pharaoh, Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. That's what the Lord did. What is the purpose? To show, to show his power throughout all the earth, to tell you that you are not in control. To tell you that Esau Edom, yes, you can pass all the law you want. I want Esau to pass all the laws. Pass the law that we, we, we should not even talk to each other. You do whatever your heart desire. But guess what? It's not going to stop prophecy. It doesn't matter what you do. It, it's not, you're not going to stop prophecy. You're not going to stop the time. Hey, you can't do you. You are doing exactly what the Lord asked you to do. The time will come. The Lord set a limit for you. Hey, you can only you can only go so far. He set a bound for you, and you cannot pass it. You see, you cannot pass it. That's the time that we are living in. It says here, "Thou would say then unto me." No, no, no. Let's go back, verse eighteen. No, for verse seventeen. He said, "For the Scripture says unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose." Have I raised thee up that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth? Therefore he have mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will, he hardeneth. We know what he did to Pharaoh. He hardened Pharaoh's heart for what? To allow Pharaoh to go after the children of Israel. Because what? The Bible tells you in the book of Proverbs 21 that the Lord controlled the, king, the, the, the mind of the kings, right? The king's heart. You see? Meaning his mind. So he put that spirit in the mind to go after the children of Israel because he hardened his heart. And then what happened? The Lord drowned his, his men in the, in the Red Sea. You see, all his military men. That's what the Lord did. And therefore have he mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom he will, he hardeneth. You see, thou shalt say then unto me, why does he yet find fault? For whom have he resisted? Who, sorry, for who have resisted his will? Let's get that another. Let's get another version. Let's read another version here. It says, "Well, well then, you might say, why does God blame people for not responding? Haven't they simply done what He makes Him make them do?" Ah, oh, now listen to this now. Nay, but oh man, who art thou that replies against the power? Shall the thin form say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? The potter have control over what? That's right. The clay. Eh? And then it tells you. Here, verse 21, it says, Had not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? Remember, it says, The kiss not being yet born. That the purpose of the Lord will stand. Once you sit back and realize that this whole life, this thing that we call life is not in your hands. It's in the hand of the Lord. Family, you have peace that surpasses all understanding. Everything that comes your way, you say, Tawada Yahawa Ba'ashem Yahawashai. Whether good or bad. Because it all came from the Lord. Big example, Job. When the wife approached him and says, hey, curse the Lord. And so you can move on already. What did Job says? Should we only expect good things from the Lord and not bad? You stupid woman. Eh? Roughly power phrasing. You foolish woman. That's right. Because the Lord gives control both sides. It shows you that everything that Esau is doing, the Lord is allowing him to do it. He made one vessel for honor and one vessel for dishonor. Let's read. Let's find out. The, let's, let's find out here. Um ah uh, no that's not it. Let's go here. Yeah, this way. Honor and dishonor. Hmm? Let's go. Honor is what? Let's let's get to see the contrast. Honor, the Greek word is what? Timea, right? It's a, a valuing by which the price is fixed of the price itself, of the price paid, received. Uh, of the honor which one has by reason of rank and state of office which he holds. Honor which belongs to all is shown to one person, right? Dif differences, reverence. That's honor. Now let's find out this honor. Eh? Atemaya, right? Atemaya, which is what? Dishonor. I hate when you use the same, o, the same word to uh, 
to describe another word. Anyway, let's continue. It says here, ignominy, dis, uh, disgrace. That's why Esau was created to be the devil, Satan. It's like a movie. You have the good guy and you have the bad guy. Yes, family, let's go on. Now we're going to leave it there. So now you know why he is playing. His, now you know why he's doing what he's doing. Because here, it tells you here. Let's go Job. I wanted to bring this out. Job 13, 14. But ye are all forgers of lies. You see, ye are what? Physicians of no value. You see, that is Esau Edom. You see, yes, the Lord knows them. They family, the fact that they are bringing a bill. A bill, that family, they realizing that everybody is looking at what is happening in Gaza today. And between the Palestine and, the, sorry, between Israel and the Hamas. And they see that the Palestinian people are being family, being destroyed. And the whole world is rising up against the small heart, right? And now all of a sudden you are introducing a bill. And because people are criticizing you, but let's we're gonna look at this right now, family. Let's bring it because we have other precept. Oh, we have precept. We have precept. It says here, it's a rep representative mad guy gaze. New anti-Semitism uh, bill will outlaw the Bible. Yep, mad gay has slammed the new hate speech and eh, bill passed by the House Wednesday warning that the expanded definition of anti-Semitism will result in the criminalization of the Holy Bible. Gays raised the alarm of the bill's working definition of contemporary example of anti-Semitism that includes claims of Jews killing Jesus. Eh? Family, we know this is all of a sudden. That's what happened. You When you steal somebody's identity, right? Family, if you were there, if, if it was us, we say, yeah. Most of our, the wicked people said, yeah, give us what? Uh, Barabbas, right? That's why right. Crucify, Yahweh Shai wasn't our king. Yeah. The Israelite, that's why. Right. The Hebrew Israelite, that's why. Right. That's what they were chanting. They said, yeah, give us, because the all of us and these people here, they have taken that name. Now, they are, like, no, the actual Hebrew Israelite will say, yeah, they will admit. They will admit that, yeah. The two tests back in those days, they were the one that says, yeah, crucify him, crucify him. We will say it, but these people are saying no. That is again. That's anti-Semitism. That, that's anti-Semitism. Anti-Semitic. But it is okay. You see, that's what happens when you take somebody's identity. You know, you are trying your best to fit in, but it's not fitting. Family, you can't put a round. Uh, uh, what is it called? A round object in a square box. It's not. It's not going to work. It's not. It's going to. It's not going to fit. It's now, family. And that's what they are trying to do. Everybody's realized because you go and read the book of Isaiah chapter 2. Family, it is the Lord that's going to take us home. The Lord never said that when we get to Israel, we get to Jerusalem. And we're going to be passing law, telling all these nations not to say anything about us. And no, we're going to be depending on the world to send us foreign aid. Never. When we go to the kingdom, we're going to lack nothing. We're going to take over the entire world. That is what is coming. How come people are not going to Isaiah 2? Read up Isaiah chapter 2. That's why family, we are sitting back and having a good time. Eh? We are having a good time because what? The lies are catching up to them. Eh? It says here, anti-Semitism anti is wrong. But this legislation is written without regard for the constitution, common sense, or even the common understanding of the meaning of words. The clear gaze on X Wednesday, the gospel itself will, would meet the definition of anti-Semitism under the terms of the bill. Hmm? But listen to this, family. Let's go here. Let's look at the First Amendment. What does the First Amendment say? This is the First Amendment, okay, to the United States Constitution. The First Amendment, eh, it says to the United States Constitution, prevent the government from making laws respecting an establishment of religion. Making law, expecting and eh, respecting. This because those entities are supposed to be separated, right? As a respecting an establishment of re religion, prohibiting the free exercise of religion. But remember, these people are so special. That's why America, Congress, Senate, family, they are all bought and paid for. Eh? The same people that are about, that's why they are paid 
but that's how it's supposed to be. So don't get upset. They are doing exactly what the Lord is asking them to do. They are playing their role in this movie because we know that burning the Bible will eventually lead to what? That's right. Amos. Let me hold that. Let me hold that. Is it Amos 8, 11? Amos 8, 11. I must well bring it out. It came to the spirit. So let's go. Amos 8, 11. Behold, the days come, says the Lord power, Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a test of, of, of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh. You hear that? That's what they're about to do. Because when you open the Bible and you start reading, you're going to realize that the people claiming to be, eh, that, that, that's what was, to, to be the owners of the land right now, they are not. They are fulfilling prophecy. Because the land has to be trotting down by the Gentiles, and they are the Gentiles. There are Israelites among them, but the majority of those people, family, they are all from, the, they're from Europe. And Eastern Europe, predominantly. That's right. It says here, Behold, the days come, says the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, not a, not a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and farming, that's why right. you're going to be going around. No, that's why right. checking the internet and going from one, that's why right. one, one uh, forum to another forum, trying to find the word, the man of the Lord, you're not going to find it because we know that internet does a lot of heavy lifting. That's why we, we have access to all the brothers' videos. It's different social platform family you're going to be searching and they ain't going to be there because these people that control everything but they are telling you that they are not controlling everything so they are going to pass law to prevent you from for saying that they are controlling everything let that make sense listen to this the people that control hollywood they control move they control your uh, all these uh, big corporations they control uh the banks they control uh, the international monetary fund they control the uh the united nation uh the imf uh all these big institutions that that allow this world to run they control it but they are going to pass law eh, to prevent you from saying that they are the one controlling it so now we're going to be looking at the chinese no we're going to go to uh, the caribbeans we're going to say the caribbeans and eh, the so-called negroes latinos are the one controlling all these institutions let that make sense the people at the bottom we're going to go to africa we're going to go to gabon and eh? maybe ghana nigeria we, those are the people controlling the world that's what we're going to say and hopefully these people can come back to the united nation and say we need someone to pass law to stop criticizing us for people uh, to, to to stop uh, people from telling us that we are the one controlling the world let that make sense yeah the lies are not working anymore but here it says here and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Because once family, it is coming. The men of the Lord, we know the Lord told us prosecution is coming. The Lord is eventually going to take us from the street. They're going to, yeah, it's going to remove us. We're going to, the internet, they're going to take it down. Eh? Because what? This word here is destroying their society. That's why the truth is coming out and they can't, they can't stand it. But this is prophecy. That goes to show you that we are very close to the end. He says here, In that day shall the fair virgins and the young men faint for thirst. That is the word of the Lord. You see, because this is what? This is considered, it's, 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 uh, it's, uh, the word is compared to what? Milk, water, eh? eh? You see, bread. You see, that's the word. So once you don't have access to this family, you're going to dry up. But the word is going to be the man of the Lord. Family, this is already in us. It says knowledge and wisdom is going to be the stability of the time. But you know now, it's in you. And the average person that didn't take heed to this message, they're going to be looking, hey, what is the man of the Lord? What are those crazy guys at the corner constantly screaming that the world is coming to an end and the microchip is coming? Where are they now? Uh-uh, you're not going to find them. The Lord already removed them off the street. That's right. The time came. The Lord, when the Lord stretched out his arm, like he says in the book of Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22 up, that's why you didn't take heed. And now you're looking for the man of the Lord. No, this time you're going to eat the missiles. He says here, prohibiting free exercise of religion or abra abridging the freedom of speech, the freedom of the press, the freedom of assembly, or the right to petition the government for redress of grievance 
it was adopted on December 7, sorry, December 15, 1791 as one of 10 amendments that constitute the Bill of Rights. Let me repeat that again. The first amendment, listen to this carefully. So the law that they're about to pass is against going against the amendment. It goes to show you that they're about to remove your right. That is a clue. That's a clue because in order to bring the new world order, the new system that they're about, that's right, they have to collapse the old one. The old one, that's why, gave you right. It, no, it gave you supposedly, suppose, uh, no, what's the word? It gave you what you think was right. Eh? Until you realize that uh -uh, you can speak your mind. Uh -huh, you can speak your mind. When you see wickedness, you just play along. Yeah, you know what? It's okay to sleep with a dog. You know what I mean? Your neighbor, you see your neighbor sleeping with a dog, a chicken. You said, yeah, you know what? That is his right. I can't say anything. That's right. Eh? Huh? you realizing that yes they're about to take that away from you again the first amendment and to the united states constitution prevents the government listen to this take taking the word prevent eh? meaning the government cannot eh? Eh? Uh, uh, push uh what legislation that goes against all this uh what is it called a uh, freedom that they have given you it's a united states constitution prevent the government from making laws respecting an establishment of religion prohibiting the free exercise of religion or abridging the freedom of speech the freedom of the press the freedom of assembly family you got to be careful freedom of the press doesn't uh, 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 what is it called exist anymore especially 20 starting from 20 uh especially starting from 2018 down when they introduced the jab jab hmm? that's why the, the 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 serpent uh, venom, eh? The freedom of assembly, eh? Coming together and protesting, ah, family. Now they tell you, look at what what happened in Columbia University and UCLA. You see, they are prevented. The police did what? They moved in on the student. Ah, uh -huh. you see, that's what you're. It said the freedom of assembly or the right to petition the government for redress of grievance. It was adopted on December 15, 1791, as one of the 10 amendments that constitute the Bill of Rights. Family, I want to. So now you see it, but listen to this. Eh? Look at this. We're going to blow this up. So now you see a bit of it. Eh? The things that you cannot say. But is this this one here or at the bottom? Uh, let me see. I think, is it at the bottom? Oh, uh, yes. So these are the things that you cannot. Once that law is passed, listen to this. This is from Maya. This, no, no this, this is actually what is written in the legislation that they're about to pass. It says here, it says, making the few things here. Let me see if you can see it. Let's go. Let me go. I'm going to pick a few of them and then we're going to bring it. It says, using the symbols and images associated with the classic anti Semitism, example, claims of Jews killing uh, Jesus or blood libel to characterize Israel or Israelis, drawing comparison of temporary Israeli policy to that of the Nazis. But here, what caught my attention was this one here. It says here, let's go here. It says, making mandacious dehumanization. Not dehumanizing, de demonizing, demonizing, or stereotypical allegation about Jews as such, or the power of Jews as collective. You hear that? So such as especially, but but not exclusively, the myth about a world Jewish conspiracy or of Jews controlling the media. <laughs> Family, we know that yes. We know that the Africans and eh, the so-called Hamites are the one controlling the media. Okay, they are not there. That's why they are the one controlling the media. Eh? They are con the, the Africans. That's why, especially the one in uh, uh, in 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 uh, in, uh, in Burkina Faso, they are the one controlling the economy, the government, or the other societal institution. Yes, family, you are actually passing law to prevent you from saying this. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? Such as especially but not exclusively the myth about world Jewish conspiracy or of Jews controlling the media. Like what I just said, they control Hollywood. They control the media. That's why International Monetary Fund, all these major organizations, World Health Organization, eh, the human rights, eh, they control it all. 
You go to the CEO of majority of this company. That's why they are majority of them are small heart. But you can't say that anymore. Once this law is passed. Huh? Accusing the Jews as people of being responsible for real or imagined wrongdoing committed by a single Jewish person or a group or even for acts committed by non-Jews. Denying the fact scope mechanism as example gas chambers family it goes in you know but you get the point but at the end family not none of that is going to stop prophecy okay none of that is going to stop prophecy let's go to job 94 it says here let's pick it up from verse 20 it's psalm 9 sorry psalm 94 verse uh, verse 20 it says, shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by law? Hey? Let me read that another version there. Hey? That's what they've been doing. Mischief by law. Why do you have to pass this law? Hey? Because what? The truth is coming up. And you can't stop prophecy. You can take all the lessons. Wipe everything clean off the board. Hey? You're still going to do what the Lord asks you to do. Because the Lord is the one directing this movie. You are a small, insignificant, and eh? you're playing a very small part in this movie. And eh? he says here, and they can unjust leaders claim that the most high is on their side. Leaders who decrease permit, who decrease permit injustice. Eh? You hear that? He said, can unjust leaders claim that the most high is on their side? Leaders whose decrees permit injustice. Let's continue. But here, it says here, they gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous. That's what they're about to do. And condemn the innocent blood. But the Lord Yahweh is my defense and my power is the rock of my refuge. You hear that? The men of the Lord, they, they said, well, the angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear the Lord. But let's hold that for a second because the Bible tells us that what? The Lord says what? Uh, let's go to first. I think I'm going to go to Matthew first. Uh, no, Revelation. And Revelation 3, what does it say? Verse 8. It says, I know thy works. Behold, I set before thee an open door and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength and hast kept my word. Are you listening to this? This is the Lord speaking to his men and his elect. You see, this is the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah Bahashem Rukha Kodash. Eh? You see, let me read that again. The, you see, the red letter, that's Yahweh Shah speaking. That's how beautiful the story is. We have absolutely nothing to fear. You passing this law, you've just fulfilled prophecy. Because in order for uh, Amos 9, sorry, Amos 8, 11 have to be fulfilled. The famine of the word. So you passing this law, you burn the Bible, burn all the Bible, grab all of them from the churches, whoever, just burn them, take down the internet. The prophecy is still going to be fulfilled. The law says the word that goes out of my mouth will not return to me void. That's how scary this thing is. Eh? It says, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. And no man, you hear that the law says, well, no man, we have access to who? The king. We are working for Yahweh Shai. Man. <laughs> you see, Yahweh Shai is our friend. You see, this is how beautiful this thing is. Yahweh Shai is our friend and there's nothing you can do about it. He is the door and we are part of him. His spirit is in us. He bought us with his blood. We belong to him. Eh? He says, I know thy works. He knows what we are doing, what we have to put up with, putting up with you every day. He says here, behold, I have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength and hast kept my word and hast not denied my name. That's right. That's why Ezra so it says, man, you ask the angel, who are the men that are receiving the crown? And then the angel Uriel look at Ezra and says, they are the one that stood stiffly stiffly for the name of the only begotten son Yahweh Bahad Shem Yahweh Shai you see the name the name is important he says behold I will make them of the synagogue of Satan back then he was referring to those wicked uh, Sadducees the Pharisees that deny Yahweh Shai but it can be applied to uh, the modern day small hearts big nose the one controlling everything yes 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 remember the law hasn't passed yet let me see 
see what is the status of the law right now. It's in uh, it passed the house, so it still have to go through the Senate, and then the president will sign it, and then it will become law. But until then, I think I can speak freely, right? Let's continue. It says here because before they take the lessons down, family. That's why this channel has been suspended many times. But family, whatever. I have a backup channel. You know what? If it does happen, listen, I'll be on my backup channel. The lessons will never, ever, ever stop. Okay? It never stop. Whether it's one or two people listening, it is what it is. Okay? But this this work will never stop. Okay? The, the Lord said, they that make mention of the Lord, give him no rest until what? He make Jerusalem a praise. So until the Lord make Jerusalem, until we go above this nation's family, we are not stopping. Because I don't know about you, but family, we are tired. We want the rulership. We are what? That's right, family. We are kingdom-minded. We want to rule. Okay, all this nation had the time to rule, and we want to rule. Okay, it says here, Behold, I will make them the synagogue of Satan. We say they are Jews and are not. But what? But do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. You hear that? I have loved thee. Whatever they are about to do, pass the law. Bring the microchip. Listen to Revelation 3.10. Because thou have... That because thou hast kept the word of my patience. That's why right. being what meaning suffering, teaching the, the uh, teaching the sheep. You know what I mean? The lambs and the apple of the Lord's eye. Constantly making time, making your body a living sacrifice. And the Lord appreciate that. He appreciate that. He said, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which is why the microchip eh, shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. This world here, you go back, is what? Let's look up the word world. <sighs> Oikumeni, right? Oikumeni. Eh? The Oikumeni world, okay? The inhabitants, the, uh, the inhabited earth, okay? The portion of the earth inhabited by the Greeks in distinction from the land of the barbarians, says the universe, the world. Okay, that's right. America, particularly the West family, the microchip is coming all over the world. Okay, when they collapse this system, family, in order to get into the new system, microchip, yeah, microchip, <laughs> family. He said, Bring it, Revelation 13 16 is going to be fulfilled. Because the Lord said so. That microchip, the, the karagma, that is the Lord's uh, microchip. He just put it in the hand of the wicked to fulfill his will. Okay? That is what it's about. You're going to fear the Lord. Yes, yeah, so the Lord says here, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep you thee. Sorry, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the whole the world to them. No, let me go back. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience and eh, meaning suffering, I also, the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh, will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Eh, and then it goes on and tells you, Behold, I come quickly. Because the moment, yes, this Esau started implementing that family, you look up, your salvation draw at night. But let's go here. Re Matthew 10. Eh? Matthew 10, we're going to pick it up from, uh, ooh, let's pick it up from verse 16. It says here, this is, how was I speaking? It said, behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. You hear that? Esau eat them. And the fact that he says, no, you cannot say that. We control Hollywood. We control uh, all the big uh, universities, all the Ivy Leagues across the world. We control this government. We can, we can, you can't say that anymore about us. Yes. We control the banks. We you can say that about us, hey? You can say that about us, hey? But guess what? You are doing exactly what the Lord is asking you to do. The fact that you are passing this bill fulfill prophecy, and we say Barakata, continue to pass more bills. That's what we want, hmm? Because the quicker you get this thing done, the quicker your Hawashai shows up, hmm? You see that the, the elect we are rejoicing. The elect are rejoicing. Say, hurry up, let's go. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. And be, be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. What do we do it? We're not going to camp. We're holding gangs. And no, no, we're telling you that we don't have no gangs. This is why we are here to teach the word of the Lord. That's it. Push the word. That's what the Lord asks us to do. The Lord didn't ask us to take matters into our, our, own, hand, our own hand. That's what it says in the book of Zephaniah 3 8. It says, What well, wait ye wait ye upon me till I, the Lord, rise up to the prey. You are the prey. Eh? You, Esau, the Lord is going to rise up to you. 
They self-proclaimed white men. It's the Ahawashai that is coming with thousands and thousands of angels to take you down. That's what is coming. We know we, we don't have anything. We did that the Lord compare us to worm. He said, worm, that worm Jacob. He said, fear not. The Lord is the one that's going to defend us. We have no, we, we have no protection. All we have is the word of the Lord. But we know that the angels are around us, though. Be careful. Hmm? Be careful. The angels are here. We feel them all the time. You might not see them, but they are around his elect. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpent and harmless as dove. But beware of men, for they will deliver you. We know that time is coming. Prosecution is coming. And we are preparing ourselves for it. Because the fact that you can put out a bill like this, and then when we speak against this bill here, you're going to prosecute us, going to put us in jail because we criticize Israel, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's all written in the Bible. It's all written here. He said, but beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils. It happened back in back then. Eh? During our, our, our apostle, uh, uh, Peter, uh, uh, sorry, apostle, all the apostle family. That's why right, Peter, they all went before councils. But it's going to happen again. But be all, beware of men. They will deliver up. So they will deliver you up to uh, the councils, And they will scourge you in their synagogue. Eh? And said, and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my name's sake. It happens. It happened. And even the apostles, they took joy. The fact that they were, they were that's why right, they were prosecuted. They, they took joy because what? Because they said what? The servant is not greater than the master. They knew Yahweh went through it before they crucified him. Didn't he go before the judges? Pontius Pilate? He went before Pontius Pilate. His own people were saying that, kill him, kill him, let's hang them. They were beating him, they beat him, they slapped him, they spat on him, they blindfolded him, they slapped him, they asked him to, pro uh, to uh, prophesy, who slapped you? He was mocked. He went through all that. So the Yahweh is reminding us, this could be us. But remember, the elect, they love not their life to death. And we say, bring it. We just ask the Lord to what? Be with us. That's it. Let your will be done. The same way our King Yahweh before he went on the cross. What happened? He was nervous. He was stressed. Anxiety were kicking in. He started to lose a little bit of strength. He was praying, 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 praying. The Lord, he said, and then he asked the Lord, Father, if it's at all possible, can you take this cup from me? Eh? But nevertheless, let your will be done. I'm just roughly paraphrasing. But the Lord heard him. The Lord sent the angels to comfort him because he knew he had to do it. He had, he had to go through it. Because you have to receive the kingdom, the universe, and eh? be the top notch, and eh? the king of kings, the lord of lords. This is what he had to he had to go through. So if you want to be kings and priests, prepare yourself for this. We also have to go through it. Oh man, the devil! What happened here, man? Oh my goodness! Let's go. I think it's. No, I'll, I'll bring it up again. Matthew ten. Let's highlight this. I think I was at, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. It said, and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my for my name's sake. For my sake. No, no, not for my name's sake. It says here, and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentile. But when they deliver you up, eh, take no thought how or what ye shall speak. Are you listening to this? When they grab you and they're taking you before the judges, the prosecutors, whatever the case may be, the Lord says, be quiet. Don't worry. Don't even meditate. Don't think about it. Eh? He says here, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. Family, the Lord already prepared the way for us. We are not worried. He said, for it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. Do you believe this? Do you believe this? And that's the mindset of the elect. Everything is happening according to the Lord's will. Every, the movie is playing out perfectly. You grab us, you put it, whatever the case may be. You want the head, take the head. It's up to you. You want to take it. Because some of the apostles, guess what? They have to chop their head off. John the Baptist. Eh? That's why they put their head, the head on the platter for this young lady. You see? It's the spirit. You can kill the spirit. The spirit goes back to the Lord. He put it in a different vessel. The glorious vessel like Yahweh Shai. You see, the Lord Yahweh Shai, we're going to have his body. He says, he says when he appears, we're going to be just like him. You see, 
So we are not a face for it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of what? Of your father who speaketh in you. Eh? So be prepared. It is coming. But we are not worried. Esau got to play his role in this movie. Yes, this law here, family, yes, they are going against their own law. Because according to the first amendment, eh, they shouldn't be passing other law. Eh? Eh? And other law to destroy the first amendment. No. This is their so-called, uh, what's, the, what's the word? It, uh, they are, you know how Esau goes. He says, he, how does he describe it? He said, they have something about their forefathers, whatever. I can't remember the saying, but... Yeah, Esau is breaking his own law because family, this is desperation time. They are desperate. They are desperate. But guess what though? It is how the, the movie is supposed to play out. Now you're going to see, I met, you're going to see Egyptians against Egyptians. Isaiah 19 is going to be fulfilled. Civil war is coming because they're not going to sit back and see their country destroyed. So guess what? They're going to go against their, excuse me, their own government. That's how the law set up the movie. Okay, so beloved, I think I'll be going for a bit now. I wanted to bring just this out. There's so many other things that I could get into. But this thing here needed a special attention. Okay. So yeah. The new anti-Semitism bill will outlaw the Bible. But yes. Burn the Bible. Burn, or burn all of them. Take take them all. Uh, take them. Come. Just take them. Guess what? It's still never going to. It's not going to stop prophecy. Prophecy is going to be fulfilled. The Hawashah is coming. You are doing exactly what you're supposed to do. You are known as the wicked in the Bible and you are playing your role to perfection. I will leave it there, beloved. I hope you are all edified or praises on and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kodash. I know I could have brought more other precepts, but you know what? We're going to leave it there. Shalom.